and welcome to sneak peek number two and yesterday you were wondering why there's a new increase in levels for the mortar and inferno today i can show you a little bit of why that is we've got the new level five valkyrie the new level six hog rider and the new level seven goblins getting introduced to clash of clans as you can see they're sporting different graphics with the goblins with the new mohawk and the valkyries with the fur coat and the hog riders with the new hammer so let's go ahead and see some gameplay first up with the hog riders so here we go we've got the hog riders coming in after the aq walk has been performed and it is aq walk with a goho component and it's going to be quite more possible now to three star town 11s more frequently with the hog riders i believe as long as uh, you can overwhelm those inferno towers so the heal spell goes down there's only one inferno tower left and the expo and one more Tesla and Archer Tower on the eastern corner for the hogs to overwhelm them and destroy. So there we go, that's pretty much a three star without even showing the rest of the raid. So onto the level five Valkyries. And the Valkyries has a faster first hit and also has received a damage buff. So you gotta see the balancing post for those details on the Valkyries, but they hit a lot harder and uh, they're pretty awesome now. And I'll see a lot of Valkyries being used in open bases like the Donut and the Square Base. And here's a short snippet of the level 7 Goblin. Um, good for farmers, not so much for war enthusiasts. So a little bit of a game changer for the Poison Spell. As you can see the troops run out of the Poison Spell now once it's deployed. So you've got to kind of be a bit more smarter with the Poison Spell by placing a troop down. So if you place a troop down and put the Poison Spell down, the troops will keep shooting at that troop and not run out of the poison spell. So you've got to be more strategic with the poison spell, but I can see the lightning spell coming back into the action in people's raids. And the final sneak peek, a little bit handy for you guys, is if you click on the loot cart, it shows you how much loot is in that loot cart, so you don't have to loot it straight away and save it when you actually want to buy something. So there we go, guys. That's the sneak peek number two. And sneak peek number...